Hey guys, Logan. Ah. We're up to season two, episode 15 of One Tree Hill. If you would like to get these videos early, you can go to simplereactions.com or patreon.com. Down in the description, you can get videos up to 20 weeks before YouTube gets them. 20 weeks. I say it all the time and I say it in like every video and still it feels like there are so many people who have no idea that I'm 20 weeks ahead. 20 weeks ahead over on simplereactions.com and patreon.com. Go check it out. Here we go. What is happening? So I'm going to tell you something about myself. I don't have anything to say. Even if I did, you'd be wrong to believe me. Trust is a lie. Oh. Nobody ever knows anyone. Oh. I like athletics. Horsing around with my pals. Horsing around with my pals. I suppose most of the fellas like to chase girls. <laughs> and does that go for you too? No, no, sir. Hi, Brooke. I have a steady girl. I guess the key is just finding someone who feels the same way you do. Yes. Push the green button in front of you and videotape your thoughts. You have to? Yes, you have to. <laughs> I won't see it. Nobody will. Not until 2055, by which time I'll be dead and buried. 2055. Nate, you got a second? No. Yikes. Are you looking after him? I'm trying. <laughs> He's a little irritated going back to the normal Nathan. I need to move out. What? I'm gonna move back in with my folks. Why? Because we kids? Well, yeah. Okay, you know what? And I wanna ask you on Friday night. Friday night, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Yes! We're actually happy about a relationship. Okay, first off, I want to say happy 67th birthday to Peyton Sawyer. You're pretty cool back in the day. <laughs> um, and to Jenny Jagelski, who is... Wow, um... I will present my case calmly and rationally and let justice prevail. Uh oh. Well, you want to use the system. Are you going to get angry? Just in case, I made some calls. And? Well, if Dan's the man I think he is, my guy should have something soon. Yes! Get him. Mm. I am so warming up to being the president! <laughs> Here's my girl! Boyfriend, hi! Boyfriend? How is your cruise? What's this? Oh, Lucas got me a gift for being the president. A gift, huh? It's just a gift, dude. Well, I was gonna wait and surprise you, but what the hell? I'm throwing my baby a party to celebrate Friday night. Oh, I <laughs> so love being the freaking president! <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats again, Brooke. My name is Ana Tagaro, and Anna I'm a junior at Tree Hill High. Dang it! And since you said it's 2055, I guess it's okay to say that I'm bisexual. Although, if I still haven't found the nerve to come out to my friends and family, I finally understand. Okay, this is what the beginning was. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Oh. Is your new home? What a house? Oh, God Keith. dang it, you're being... You can't just buy me a house, this is too much. It's not too much. The truth is, it's not nearly enough. Oh, my God. I love you, Jules. You better actually care about him. How you been? Drunk? Bitter? Kind of like mom? <laughs> yeah, I know. I understand the leaving part. Trust me. <laughs> I understand the leaving part, too. I just wish she would have called me before she left. Yeah, she just did it really terribly. I wish I could have talked to her about it. Got a voicemail. Voicemail. I hope you don't still got that crap. <laughs> so you're having sex with Jake Jagelski tonight. I don't think you're crazy. Now he minds. You'll be fine. You've got good hips. <laughs> See you at the party. That said, I understand sometimes things aren't always as they appear. 
Your name is Roger. Doug. Doug. <laughs> Doug. Lucas is my son, and he has been every day of his life, and there's not a court in this country, Dan, that's gonna fall for your ass of a suit and your crooked ass smile Chill. and your assy frat boy haircut. He's also the father of Lucas, too, and you're not helping your case, but okay. Lucas. Ah, that's so terrible to do to her. And it sucks yeah, to be Lucas because he has to make that decision knowing Gosh. that it hurts her and knowing that he can't tell anybody why because he's looking after someone else that he cares about. That's, oh, that's a mess. I'm gonna find a drink. Uh, okay. In the tub. You don't want him. I know you don't want him. He's not your type. Erica? Oh, congratulations! <laughs> Do you drink? How do you know? <laughs> Besides, you said I should find other activities. Nate, thank you for coming. Whatever. I just ran out of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> what you see in the time capsule, Luke? Sometimes the open time capsules are when a building moves or there's a fire. You never know. <laughs> or if someone dies. Nice wheels outside. Different daddy. I'm not gonna... I understand. I get why he's mad. Well, I said something in the time capsules that I need to erase. Do you think you could help me do it? No! Like, tonight? You're good. And break into the school. Hey, don't be dick and drive drunk. I'm not even bust. It's still an open container. Fuck. What the? Oh, my. Idiot. Idiot. Yikes. Even officer. Oh, uh, some beer. He didn't have to do that. That was very. Wow. You know, some guys charge extra for handling. You know, some girls charge extra for this. Dang. Dang. Just don't go so fast. What the heck? Oh. Perfect. Why did he get arrested? Was he drinking? They called for a pizza. I'm starving. Oh, you're yeah, hilarious. You're acting ridiculous, though. You shouldn't be acting like this. You can act mad. And what are you doing? I really, I don't know this. Is this sick? There's more to this than meets the eye. You know that. Well, then he's lying to me. And you should trust me, Andy. I mean, what's next? Life of crime? Oh. Hello? Hey, Mom. Mom, uh, look. Don't freak out. Okay, but I'm in jail, and I need you to bail me out. What? What happened? Is it Dan? No. No, Mom. It's not. It's... I was with Nathan, and we had some beer. You got a quarter in your pocket? Yeah. Good. Call the father you love so much. What well, happened? She's not coming. Let's see. In ten years, I'll probably be married to someone like Marvin McFadden. Who's Marvin McFadden? Of course, you all probably call him Senator McFadden or something. Just call him mouth. Two minutes tops. Oh my god. Yeah, just stop doing that. Uh, that's a problem. Why? Right. Uh-huh. Here, here come. Marsh. Call me Marsh. Oh. <laughs> okay, Marsh. Let's get you home. Okay? Come here. I mean, kind of like how your wife likes Chris better than you. Oh! 
is the what is the whistles gonna do? That was. <laughs> so you're probably looking at this and making fun of my outfit, right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here's all Brooke, you, you to look know amazing. If you're fat, dumb, sexual, and a guy, you're okay. Somebody tell me you've got love figured out. <laughs> well, I got news for you. It's pretty darn messy right now. It's ugh. <laughs> I chained him to myself. Until she sings a duet, goes on tour. Oh! She's got a dream, Nate. No. I understand the dream, this. but she did it terribly. She kissed him before she left. And she kissed him, and she went with the guy she kissed Sorry. when she's married with someone like that. That's what she said when I called her. A dream is one thing, and leaving for so a dream is... But that's not what happened. She said she was sorry. Do you have ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> Only nice ones. <laughs> there are matches in the top drawer. <laughs> what? I just pictured you and Lucas. No! No, 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 I never slept with Lucas. It was Nathan's. I just pictured that too. Okay, well stop picturing things, because it's not like that. It's... Let's just go slow, okay? Okay. But, well, it's just that you never really had any cool points. <laughs> <laughs> but baby, you do now. <laughs> I won't walk down the aisle before I do. Mm. Well, you shouldn't have told Maybe me. Maybe you won't have to. But I think I'll just let this one go. Keith does never have to know. If I do what? Nothing. Call it my wedding gift. I don't believe you. He's gonna find out though. I'll tell y'all this. Secrets don't stay forever. You couldn't turn your cell phone off in a church? Might be God. <laughs> Okay, just go with the bed spins. <laughs> it's me. Pick the one in the middle. Last week they sold one of the O's in my first name, so now I'm officially Broke Davis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you hit it pretty hard tonight. Yeah. Didn't you? That was, that was really tonight. good. How come? Just didn't make sense for once. So instead I carted you here when... You should have your mail forwarded here. Did they give you the same cells before? I don't know, they redecorated. <laughs> Great. Make jokes. You know how much it's gonna cost me to get you two idiots out of this... You told them. Yeah, I did. You should've. Your brothers. He could use a friend tonight. Is that an arrestable thing? An open container? I guess it can be. I guess it depends on the situation. Temptation can be silenced by a ray of hope. But when the face of that hope is a boy's face, I guess for me, hope comes with trust issues too. Hey, I got trust issues. Pound it. <laughs> she kissed Chris, but Haley married you. I kind of think that that wins out over some confused kiss. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't make it right. Maybe that was the confusing part for her. Nathan. But anyone here could have walked. Hey. Lucas, okay? I'd say far from. Well, my investigator found something interesting about that. What? Stop 
doing that? I just that? want you to know that tell I'm me tell anyone about you and you know, girls. Exactly. I'm gay. And straight. And a Latina. And I hate labels. Oh, girl. And I hope by the time you see this, those things won't be an issue. Oh, preach. Now, Jesus. All you need to know is this. I the labels are so My name right. is Anna. I'm so done with labels. It's funny how That's all that people people have created these labels. It doesn't matter what it is. Color of the skin, what you agree and don't agree with. Sexuality. So I'm seeing this girl. All to just separate us. I think our experience levels. We're all human beings. Even so, I'm doing something That's all. with her that we're human beings. I've never done. This. I'm falling in love. Life is just so stupid. He said the L word. I'm banned from saying that word. My brother's been going through. Unless it's for Brooke Davis. I wish there was more I could do to help him. Better to each other. What's happening? Each other than anybody else. Is she gonna tell him? Is she not gonna tell him? Now I wonder why. Because if I can get closer to him, maybe I can find a way to beat him. Oh. Once and for all. Alright, that's fair. Set the people that I love free. Well, her name is Camilla. And my wish is that one day she'll agree to be my wife. And we'll grow old together. I'd like to have a boy of my own one day. Let's go. I'd like to try to teach them. Right from wrong. Good from bad. I guess only time will tell. Wow. Well, here we are, getting closer and closer. Every single episode, like, teases. Some kind of like Keith finding out. He's gonna find out. I already know it's gonna happen. I know it. Like it, it's not gonna be a secret. Um, I just I don't know how that's going to happen. I can tell you right now the best way that it could happen is if Jules tells him herself, um, and it appears she's not gonna do that. And my immediate guess is based on how this show has happened in the past and so far what has happened so far in this show uh, as far as relationships and all that and lies and all that and specifically with Keith I think that this is going to be the dagger uh, in kind of everything for Keith uh, I think he is going to be done and uh, I think they're going to be done, Jules and Keith, and I will almost guarantee that we're probably not going to see Jules again. Um, and I'm willing to bet that this is going to be a major downfall for Keith. I'm also willing to bet that we might not see him. Like, he might go off and, and do his own journey, maybe go to Charleston himself, and he'll be just gone for a little while, and he'll come back. Um, it's either that or we're going to experience his downfall and his hard times that he's going to go through after this, uh, or a little mix of both. Lovely. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. Uh, I keep forgetting that there's a top 10 on this show. Um, I may, probably because I just don't know if anybody should be moved up. So at number seven, I can in fact put Anna. Um, at number eight, I'm fine with putting Karen. At nine, I'm fine with putting Haley. And at ten, I'm gonna keep Jules. Oh, Jules or Jake? I'm gonna put Jake in at ten. I think it's a neck and neck fight for both of them. Um, I think when when Jules got into the top ten, she had a lot of opportunities to like keep herself there, and she kind of just vanished and didn't do much. So 
drop. Um, but Jake is going to come in at 10. I still think Lucas is the number one character as of right now. Brooke is dominating outside of Lucas. Um, and really, I think it's both of them. It's, it's Lucas and Brooke as of right now, I think, who are just... Uh, really dominating his characters, I actually, looking at this and talking about it, makes me realize that Dan's going to come in at three. Um, he is just a, you know, I mean, he's Dan, and he's dominating in his aspect. Um, this isn't a favorite character list. I hate Dan, and it, you know, he's top three, though. Um, and I'm fine with putting Peyton at four. Four, and then Nathan at five, Felix will come in at six, and then right below Felix will be his his sister, uh, Anna. But I guess outside of the top three, Lucas, Brooke, Dan, everyone else is just kind of there. It's kind of like separated. Um, Brooke is being great as a character. You know, her, her character is, is phenomenal. You get all this different stuff from Brooke, and she's literally always there, so it really helps when you're always on the screen with the top 10, because you're always on the screen, and you can, like, help your character move up more. So Brooke, always on the screen. Lucas, always on the screen. Dan, always on the screen. You know, they're, they can easily push their power ranking up. So right now, it's Lucas, Brooke, Dan, I'd say they're neck and neck. They can easily compete with each other. One can take over first, the other can take second, third, whatever, um, as of right now. But I see Lucas as one, Brooke as two. Dan is right behind Brooke. Uh, they're literally, they're right there. I, I see it as a track race just for everybody who is still listening to the top ten. I see it as a track race. So. Lucas is, he's running his race, Brooke's right behind him, Dan's right behind him, and then maybe a hundred meters ahead of everybody, or, or behind everybody, is Peyton, and then you have Nathan, Felix, and Anna, Karen, that's how I see it, it's a race, and how far ahead are you in this race, you might be first, you might be second, but you might be farther ahead of the first and second, or whatever place, but uh, anyways, like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I'll see you all next time.